All right, you guys, what is up? So we're about a little over 12 hours before the anime NYC promotion starts at town recording. It is you know, uh, mid afternoon of the of the day prior. So right now, Kunduz it says it's, it's coming, but it starts on the 23rd of August, running through to the 29th of August. So it coincides with the end of the Glow Mask event, as well as the Malleus and Jamil showcase which also kicks in on the 23rd but this is going to be about the anime NYC promotion so there's going to be just like hella bundles up in the shop um, and as you can see there on August 30th so that's a little over a week from time of recording not eight days basically um, but August 30th they are going to be giving out another tenfold key set for the glow mask showcases. So we'll be able to try at least one more tenfold summon for the EDIA hopefully, but we'll see what's up with that. So anyway, uh, the promotion itself goes from the 23rd, starts the 23rd, so in, in line with anime NYC I guess is gonna be this weekend most likely as well given the timing of it so we'll see what's going on there but the login bonus runs from the 23rd at 2 a.m. through to the 29th 10 9 p.m. as always login bonuses do reset you know like midnight so you have until 11 59 p.m. on a specific day to claim that login bonus logging in five times during the promotional period here Aside from the regular login bonus, so whatever you get for that specific day, also during the five days you will get 150 gems, so that's probably, you know, 30 per, or if they split, you know, like some 10, 20, 30, you know, 40, 50, that would, that would account for 150 as well, so I don't know how they choose to split that, I suppose. Along with other items, typically it's like lesson items, um, Star shard bottles, sun shard bottles, um, moon, moon, moon shard, moonstones, whatever those things are, the, the, the ones you can use for the exam points. Anyway, so we're getting into the bundles themselves now. Eight different bundles that you can get purchased within the shop itself. All in-game items, doesn't seem like there's any that are specifically geared to paid gems, so that's gonna be an interesting part. Most of these looks like you can only buy one. Oh no, you can get this one three times. Okay. Three times for that one. So that's probably the case for these other big ones too. Anyway, so the crafters bundle is geared to the crafters gauntlet. So the items that let you make the furniture for the guest room along with 100,000 tall marks and five bottles of sun shards, which are what you replenish, what you use to replenish the points to use to go for the crafters gauntlet battles so that's cool if you're trying to amass items to build up some of the furniture which I'm doing right now I'm trying to save up to get the um, Noble Bell College Fountain in there but anyway um, so it takes 50 gems for pretty much all these from what I've seen so far crafters bundle you can buy three times the magic paint bundle you get eight types of each theme paint so basic unique elegant cute and cool i think are what they are if i remember right again five bottles of sun shards and a hundred thousand top marks you can purchase up to three times bundle of honey so you get 15 jugs 30 jars and 50 file vials i guess this vial is, I suppose, a single item, but vial is possibly, I don't know, anyway. How are the plural of vial and vial works, I guess. So you get 15, 30, and 50, and 100,000 tom marks. 
purchase up to three times. Refreshment bundles, it's the... Not the Lux Enhancement, but the card enhancement atoms. So this goes for the vignette levels, so that's to be able to glorify the cards and see their little card stories. You get 15 smorgasbords, 30 spreads, 50 snacks, 100,000 tile marks. You can buy up to three. And spell boost bundles, it goes... You can purchase two of each one, so you have... For the four elements, you have water, fire, floor, and cosmic. So you get 10 grimoires, 20 textbooks, 30 notepads. Each one is redeemable for 50, so you, you know, up to 100. And you can do it twice. Well, 100 to get the two per element, so you can do that for water, fire, flora, and cosmic. Now, not if anything does change, we will uh, make a second video for that just in case. But as things are now, this is how it's slated to be as of two, uh, at time of recording tomorrow at 2 a.m. But by the time the video will be out, it'll probably have started just because it will be live on the Friday. So keep your eyes peeled out for that. And if there's any shift in information, we will uh, make sure it's known. So that's, let's see, 400 for the elements. Element bundles. One fifty. Three hundred. So that's seven hundred. One fifty. And three hundred. So if you want to get every bundle all the times that it counts, you can. It's gonna take a thousand gems. So depending on how you want to do that, if you do. Unless you're saving like me, so I will probably not buy any of the bundles just because I'm trying to save up gems for, you know, the showcases and events stuff that happens later on in the year, but we'll see what's up. But if you do choose to do that, it will take a thousand gems total to get all the bundles all the amount of times that you are able to. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for now, so... Thank you for joining. Feel free to share and like the video, subscribe to the channels, drop a comment where you can, let us know if you are going to be a part of Anime NYC. Never been just because, you know, uh, West Coast, so it takes a lot of time and money to travel out for something like that, but wouldn't be opposed to it over the years if I maybe get the chance to go there at least once, but anyway, we, there's other cons here so I'll at least try to do maybe something for that when it comes back around again if because you no know, anime Expo already passed that was you know July so see if maybe in the incoming years but hopefully there's recent there's gonna be some news on the Twisted Wonderland anime whenever they do decide to go further with that because right now it's just um, nothing's really been done about it or at least there's not been any like new news in a while on it last I've seen but we'll definitely keep an eye out for any news that comes out of N anime NYC that is geared to Twisted Wonderland so thank you guys for joining signing off peace out